Everything you see here came out of this hard drive using a few basic tools, including that fork. We'll show you how. What we have here is a Western Digital 120 gig IDE hard drive, old school. Found it laying around in the house, decided it's a great candidate to uh, disassemble. To get into it, we need to pop all these screws plus the hidden one that's right here. And to do that, I'm going to use a T8 torque connection. And I got this really cool tool at uh, Sears. It's a uh, 47486. And it comes with a bunch of different bits. And let's see if we can get this lid off. Lo and behold, there are two hidden screws. What we got in here is, there's a magnet in here, which is really nice. So I'm going to take that out. This. Magnetic. There's another one underneath. So let's see if we can get to that. I'm going to create a little bit more room. You got to be careful with the magnet because. It's so strong that if your fingers get caught between it and whatever it's being attracted to, uh, you get a nasty pinch. These are the two magnets that came out. And see how powerful that is? Looks like there are two more screws here. One there, one there. I'm going to pop that out. There's one, two, three, four on the uh, little motherboard. So I'm going to pop those off. And I think to get the platter off, we're going to have to punch through. There seems to be some adhesion. Then we have a foam pad. And this looks all clean. Another little foam pad there. Let's try a T7. So the ring comes off. Nice machine piece. It's amazing the technology that goes into making a platter. And here's or making a hard drive, I should say. Here's one of the, the platters. And this particular drive has three, three platters. So we have a, a, a spacer. And, and these are, are metal platters. 
and then there was another space there. All right, so what's left? So we got this, and it looks like it has three screws there. After removing the three screws, the spindle comes right out, and you're left with a clean aluminum block. And what you see here is typical of a hard drive. Several components, several pieces of different metals, all of which have some value. I personally like the magnet because I'm going to repurpose it so I can use it for uh, magnet fishing. You can look that up if you don't know what it is. That's why I took it apart. But again, if you're looking to salvage hard drives as a hobby, uh, they're fairly easy to take apart and fairly safe. As long as you don't get your fingers caught between the two magnets, you should be fine.